When you're a California almond grower, you pretty much eat, sleep, and dream about almonds year-round. Because when you're responsible for producing 100% of the U.S. supply of almonds, you're always thinking about how you can do it even better. It all starts with the perfect place to grow almonds. And that just so happens to be right here in California. With mild, wet winters and hot, dry summers, the Central Valley of California is one of the best places to grow almonds in the world. Before the growing season begins, the wet winter keeps the orchard in dormancy. Even though dormancy means that the almond trees are busy resting and storing up energy, the cool winter plays a crucial role in every tree's production ability. Because the more winter chill hours the trees get, the better chance they'll have at a stronger bloom in the spring. Once springtime comes, bloom comes along with it, along with millions of honeybees who happily buzz about pollinating every last almond blossom. Then, as the months quickly change from March to June, the pollinated blossoms begin to grow and nurture each almond to full maturity. And for us growers, that means we check and double check our systems to make sure everything's working efficiently, from our nutrient levels in the soil to our irrigation systems. It's all just one big ongoing effort to make sure we're good stewards to our trees, our land, and the environment. And before we know it, the almond hulls begin to split open from mid-August through October. The wider the hulls open, the drier the nuts become. And when they're just dry enough, we harvest them from the trees with shaker machines that cause all the almonds to fall to the ground. After about a week of extra drying, we sweep the almonds into rows and a pickup machine gathers the almonds to prepare them for eating enjoyment. Even after the almonds complete their natural growth life cycle, there's still a whole new journey before millions of people can enjoy them. In fact, there are many journeys that California almond could take, but they all start off at the huller sheller. This is where all three products from almonds are separated. The hulls are removed and used for livestock feed. The shells are transformed into an alternative energy source in cogeneration plants and also into livestock bedding, while the kernel itself is, of course, the nutrient-rich almond we eat. Almonds are separated into two groups, whole in-shell almonds and shelled almond kernels. From here, both the in-shell and shelled almond kernels are then sent to what's called a processor. Processors use state-of-the-art facilities to remove any defects or foreign materials. They also sort and grade almonds for quality and safety. Then, the nuts are generally handled in one of three ways. Some are packaged and shipped off as whole brown skin kernels or in-shell almonds. Others are boxed and shipped to be used in almond-enhanced goods, such as cereals, milk alternatives, energy bars, or candy bars. And some almonds are even processed on-site at the handler, where they're flavored, roasted, sliced, or diced before being distributed. But no matter which journey an almond takes, they all end up in the hands of consumers around the world who love the wholesome goodness of California almonds. Through generations of growing, California almond growers are continually finding new ways to grow the same wholesome almonds more efficiently, more productively, and more responsibly than ever, in order to not only feed our world, but to ensure that we're doing our part to protect it. Learn more about California almonds and the Almond Board of California's leadership in modern agriculture and responsible resource management. For more information, visit almonds.com.